Hello, 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 and welcome to week eight of the Watermelon League. This week we're up against the Orlando Onyx, coached by Chinito, and I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. This week's going to be a little bit different. There were some audio issues when I first recorded, so this is going to be a post-commentary match. But nevertheless, this is what we're going to be looking at. Let me know if you prefer the post-commentated versus the live stream of thought. But anyway, looking at this team, I was expecting the Torkoal to come for sure. It's appeared in a lot of their uh, previous matches. The Suicune came to a lot as well. I was also expecting the Annihilate, probably the Iron Thorns, and the Monkey Dory. Maybe the Grand Bull as well, but that's kind of what I thought would be coming with this team. It looked like a very clear Sun team with Torkoal as kind of the core, along with lots of things like the Leafy on the Charizard. would really like to take advantage of that. So, to go along with that, and going along with that line of thought, I'm ranking uh, a Rain Dance Blastoise with Surf, Shell Smash, Dragon Pulse, and Rain Dance. I just figured if the Torkoal comes, we can lead with the Blastoise, set up some Rain Dance, and just kind of give it a hard time. So that's kind of what I was thinking with the Blastoise here. Uh, I would have liked to have had the, some other coverages besides the Dragon Pulse, but in the rain, Surf was able to hit everything really hard so the dragon pulse was only there for the uh, what's it called the dragon type Baxcalibur. so next we have the comfy comfy has the giga drain combine stored power set it's, it's the same set i've been using for quite a while it looked good in this team we have the iron treads here it has the same move set as last time but this time we're running the red card just to try tripping things up if they try getting his setup going on. It just, I figured the red card would be a good item here just to disrupt their team. Ice Spinner to deal with the Hood Scroll, but otherwise, Earthquake was pretty good damage option. We have the Alolan Muck here, a Curse Shadow sneak set with Drain Punch and Poison Jab, Drain Punch to heal it back up, as well as Black Sludge for more healing. Poison Jab is the poison move of choice just to go along with its poison touch and Shadow Sneak to ignore the speed drops from the curse. That it's there really because their team doesn't have too too much to deal with it, so figured it was a good option. We have our two cannon with the Terra Fire, Flame Charge, Rock Blast, Bullet Seed, Beak Blast. I wanted the Terra Fire just to be able to take advantage of some of the sun and this coverage lets it hit most things on the team. Finally, we're bringing our Zamazenta, and this Zamazenta has the Play Rough, Iron Head, Close Combat, and Stone Edge, and with those it can hit pretty much all of the team for really good damage. A clear amulet set this time, just in case they're bringing the Grand Bull. So that is what we brought. Let's check how it went. Tricking to come. I want to send the Blastoise, but since I can't do that, I'm looking at my little guy Muck here and thinking there's nothing really that deals super great with the Muck, and the Muck can pretty much take a hit from whatever wants to come out, so I just decided to throw Muck out, see what happens. I really had no clue where to start though. So I see the Toad Scroll comes out, and I'm thinking, okay, I don't know what kind of set this is. It probably wants to put something to sleep, and if anything wants to go to sleep, it's a muck here. So I poison jab just to go for some poison fishing. I don't get it, but this sets up the reflect, which kind of tells me what kind of set this is running. It's going to be dual screens. I'm thinking, hey, if you have dual screens, I can set up too. So I go for the curse, lower my speed boost my attack and defense, and sure enough, the light screen comes in. So now I'm thinking, once I get a second curse off, because this thing's gonna go last with any status, once I get a second curse, it doesn't matter if I'm asleep, and in fact, I probably want to stay in and burn some sleep turns. So I don't know, maybe the earth power or something's coming from this, but if a spore comes, 
Muck's really in a great position here, and sure enough, the score comes, and Muck's just sleep. So, from here, I'm thinking, I'm a plus two, may as well just go for the attack, burn some sleep, because I know I'm going to be asleep this turn. And the Monkey Dory comes, or sorry, the Suicune comes in here. So the Suicune's in, and Muck's just kind of taking a little nap, and I'm thinking, I don't know what the Suicune would really want to do. Uh, besides maybe set up a substitute, but instead they go for the Scald, which does absolutely nothing to this Muck. Muck is so specially defensive. So, taking practically no damage and can't get burned because I'm asleep, I decide, no, I'm just gonna keep burning the sleep turn, keep burning the reflect turns, and just go for another poison jab. And now the Monkey Dora comes in, and Muck finally wakes up, and Muck goes for the Poison Jab. Of course, won't be able to poison this because it's Poison type. So, now here I am at plus two, and I'm thinking, okay, this is probably gonna wanna maybe fake out, but that doesn't really do anything. So I wasn't sure what it wanted to do, and sure enough, it switches out as well. They're having a hard time with this Muck just that I thought they would. So I go for the Shadow Sneak. And the Shadow Sneak gets not much damage against this, but it does get the poison touch, so that's pretty great for Muck. Um, so at this point, we have this back to Calibre out, and I don't know what kind of attack this wants. Earthquake would hurt really hard, but I think I can survive at least one. And then this Ice School Crash comes down, and that is a lot of damage from this back to And of course I get the flinch. I'm thinking, as long as I don't get the flinch, I'm fine, but the flinch shows up, and here we are. So. At this point, Reflect's gone, I'm thinking another Drain Punch will do a lot of damage to this thing, as long as I don't get flinched again, but this time we don't get flinched. And the Drain Punch comes along, and we just heal back a lot of the damage that we take in, and the Poison's going to finish the Specs Caliber off. So we're in a great position, one of their heaviest physical attackers just went down, and we're looking pretty good. So. After all said and done, Muck's still pretty healthy. Muck's still a plus two defense. Crazy special defense, naturally. And it's looking like it's going to be really hard for them to take it down. So, the Annihilate comes in, and I'm thinking I'll just poke it with a Shadow Sneak, see how that goes. And it does a solid amount. And they go for the Drain Punch, that doesn't do too much. But it does heal them up a little bit. So I'm thinking, okay, that's... Looking like it's probably going to be 3 hit KO, judging from that damage, and then the life, the leftovers pop. So it's like, oh, okay, that's, that's a little bit rough. So, that, that being said, Shadow Sneak's doing my best bet. I'm still going to be out damaging this Mach, or still, I'm going to be out damaging this Annihilate, and they go for the bulk up, and that's kind of scary. Because this thing with the boosted defenses, boosted offense, it's going to be pretty tough to deal with if it gets a couple of those. Uh, I do have some things in the back that can handle it, but it's not a great situation. So I'm thinking I'll just try getting another Shadow Sneak, maybe fish for a poison. And I go for the Shadow Sneak. I don't get the poison, but I do get the critical hit, which absolutely mattered there because that would not have taken it out. But the Nihilus goes down to the muck. And right now this muck's just going absolutely nuts. So next in comes the Charizard. So I don't fully know yet what kind of set this is, so I just go for the poison jab, figuring it's a pretty safe attack. And it turns out it's a Dragon Dance set, which is pretty scary, because these Dragon Dance sets usually run Earthquake, and I'm thinking, okay, an Earthquake's absolutely going to be coming after this. But poison jab takes it down to a range where a Shadow Sneak will certainly take it down, but it has the Citrus Berry, so it's now back up to half, and I'm thinking, oh, this isn't great. There's no way a Shadow Sneak will be able to take it down from that range. Even with this little bit of poison, it's still looking like it'll survive a Shadow Sneak. So I'm thinking the Earthquake's absolutely going to take me down, but I want to get as much damage as I can, so I go for the Shadow Sneak anyway. And to my surprise, this goes for the Terra, so they decide to Terra Stellar, Stara, 
Stellar Terra this Charizard. And this is gonna be a plus one Terra boosted Earthquake coming my way. But first I go for the Shadow Sneak. It of course isn't gonna be enough. And that Earthquake, I figure, okay, this is gonna take me down for sure. But plus two defense muck takes that like a champ. That does less damage than the back caliber. So that also kind of hints at me that maybe that back caliber was banded. But either way, this is great. Is now a shadow sneak will finish off this Charizard. So that's half the team down, and Mux is kind of sitting here, just eating its black sludge, healing back up, and just it's still at about half health and half the team's down already so I'm thinking this is a really great position to be in so out comes the Suicune and I'm thinking okay this thing didn't want to get behind a substitute earlier even if it has a substitute now I can just try getting some health back but it goes for the Scald and Scald is going to be fishing for a burn the Drain Punch goes back and at this point I'm healing I'm healing more than the Suicune is damaging. But I know it's only a matter of time before they get the burn. Skulls about a 1 in 3 chance. So I decided to switch it up here. I go for the Poison Gem. Dead Fishing for the Poison. Just try getting more damage on the Suicune. They go for the Skull. And here's the Poison Gem. Poison Gem's doing great damage. Just looking like two more of those should be able to do what it needs to do. And we're just leftovers, black sludge, we're just killing up, so it's slow, but it's... And here I'm thinking, okay, it's one in three, this is the third hit, power of math, this has to be the burn. And sure enough, we get the burn. So, Poison Jab now is going to be taking a lot more to take the Suicune down. And I'm thinking, I don't really want to sit through that. So, Muck, I think, has done its job by now, it's been bulky. Um, and now it's burnt, it's not going to be doing much even if I stayed in to set up some more. So, I decided to switch in. You know who doesn't care about getting burnt? Blastoise. I'm thinking Blastoise can come in, this Suicune's already pretty damaged. I should be able to take good care of it. So Blastoise comes in, Skull comes out, and sure enough, we get the burn. And Blastoise, yeah, I don't mind being burned. So... Suicune's healing up again, and at this point, I decide that I have to make a decision between the Rain Dance or the Shell Smash. I figure I don't want to boost this thing's Scalds, so I just go for the Shell Smash. And coming in is the Toad's Cruel. And here's where I wish I'd brought the Ice Beam, because this thing would just be absolutely bodied by an Ice Beam, but... That does not happen. Instead, we shaft smash our shell. If we had rain, then rain boosted shell smash surf hits really, really hard on the entire team. But without that rain dance, I didn't really want to wait for this thing to spore and set things up. So I just looking at their team, I think, okay, the surf is going to be hitting everything pretty hard. And the surf is not quite enough to take this down. There's the light screen. So now Blastoise isn't going to be doing that much after all. And I don't want to let this thing get more screens up. I don't want to let it spore. So I just go for another surf. I feel like a spore there would have been a good middle ground play. If they'd survived, then they could spore and then set up screens. And I'd be forced to play around it. But either way, I get... I take care of the Toad Squirrel there. All they have left is the Sweet Coon and the Monkey Dory. So Monkey Dory comes back out. I'm thinking this thing definitely wants to try to poison me. Uh, so they're probably going to fake out. If they don't fake out, then they're going for a poison move. So I send out the Iron Treads. They do, they do go for the fake out. And the fake out sends the Monkey Dory out. It's going to send in the Sweet Coon. And we really don't want to deal with the Suicune. Um, it's it's at a range where I don't think an 
earthquake would take it down. And it's too late in the game. Where I don't think that setting up rocks or anything like that's going to be beneficial. So I know Scald's coming. The other Pokemon that doesn't care about getting burnt is, of course, the Comfy. And I think the Comfy's a, another good option here. So I bring in the Comfy. Figuring this Suicune isn't going to be that much of a threat to the Comfy, and the Comfy can still do some good stuff to it. And Scald does not get the burn here, and we're just both going to be munching on our leftovers. So it's the Suicune, though, is really, really difficult to take down. Uh, it's back up to over half. So I'm thinking that they haven't set up any kind of substitute yet, so. I should be fine going for the Calm Mind, and they go for the Protect here, so that validates my Calm Mind play. And now, even if they Scald me again, it's going to do a lot less. So, here I am, setting up on the Suicune, I have the Giga Drain, so it's not really going to want to take that, but the only other thing it has is the Monkey Dory. So they decide to stay in. As I continue setting up my combines. And here I am, nice and calm. Oh, special attack, plus two special defense, and there's... they switch over to Ice Beams now. So, instead of fishing for the burn, they decide they want to fish for the freeze, which would really be unfortunate, but this turn they don't get any freezes on me. And we're looking. Nice and solid. We are almost back at full health from all this leftover recovery and decide this is probably the point where I want to go for the Giga Drain. So, go for Giga Drain. It's a nice little chunk, but it doesn't do too, too much. And they'll be going for another Ice Beam. And I'm just still worried that they're going to get the freeze, but no freeze this time. I'm thinking, okay, I'm out damaging this thing. It can hardly touch me, and I'm hitting it pretty hard. I was worried a little bit for some kind of roar as well. Roar would have been good against my team, but it didn't come, and I'm happy for that. So I decided, how about I just go for another Calm Mind? That way, when the Monkey Dory comes in, maybe I can try for a... What's it called? A stored power. If, if they ever decide to pull some kind of fancy switch on me. But here I am at plus three now. Maybe a little greedy, but not frozen, so... I keep worrying about this week, and I feel like every turn I'm rolling the dice. But, here we are. Their light screen's now gone. That's the other reason why the Giga Drains weren't doing too much something. Okay, plus three, and the light screen's gone. Surely that's enough. But, as you can see, it just barely hangs on. And now they switch back over to Skulls, thinking, I guess, to try to just out-damage. But at this point... I'm thinking, okay, the Protect's pretty obvious, but if they don't go for it, that could be... They might finally get that Freeze. So, I need to play just for the Knockout. And, of course, they go for the Protect, but... I had to cover my bases, I couldn't assume they weren't going to Protect. So... So, if they recover a little bit, but it's, at this point, not going to be enough. And here we are pretty much back at full health. So, we're in a great position right now with our full team still standing and this one last Giga Drain is going to be enough to take down the Sweet so All they have left is the Monkey Dory. And, I, so, the Monkey Dory comes out and now I'm in kind of an interesting position. I want to try preserving my Differential. The Monkey Dory naturally outspeeds. So I'm thinking if I want to try to preserve this, or if I want to go for a differential here, I think the Treads is the safest play, because they're going to fake out and then they might try some poison shenanigans, and if they get a lucky crit or something, then I'd go down. So I just go back into the Iron Treads. They go for the fake out. I can't be poisoned. So that's that. And of course, an Earthquake is going to be enough. But not before they get a Grass Knot, which, if that had crit, this might have been a different story. But the Earthquake is, of course, enough to take down the Monkey Dory. 
and that gets us the game. GD to my opponent, that puts us at uh, a 7-1 record, and we will see you next time. Thanks.